Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. It's Manisha here. Um, today I'm going to be sharing with you some swatches of these beautiful polishes that I've just recently purchased from um, Moira. So those of you that follow me um, would have seen the Moira haul that I shared recently. And these um, six polishes were ones that I purchased. They're part of the chrome stamping range. So they do actually have chrome stamping polish written on them. Um, I pretty much picked up every colour that was available. And I also um, shared with you the old gold polish polish that I had which is also stamping polish but it's not part of the chrome polish range so I thought I'd do a swatch of that and I'm going to be swatching these over black and white and um, while I was looking at these and doing the video it sort of had a bit of a thought about what other polishes I have in my collection that are um, metallic um, or have sort of like a reflective look about them and um, I looked through them and I found these um, Born Pretty store ones we just got on dropped one I've got these Born Pretty store ones. So they're um, ones that I've had for a little while now. Some of them are older than others. Um, but I am going to swatch these ones as well so you can see how they turn out. I'll just point out that these five here are actually um, a part of the, they were called Shimmer. So they were part of a Shimmer polish range. Um, and so they do actually have like product numbers on the bottom um, 34, oh, sorry, 31, 35, 33, 37, 34. Um, and I think there's one other one um, in that range as well, which I haven't got. And then I also had these ones. So these are sort of fairly newish for me. Um, and then that's another one there too that I've recently sort of bought in the last year or so. Um, but I thought I'd swatch those ones as well. So if you want to see how they all go, um, just keep watching. If you have got any comments or questions, just leave them for me down below. And let me know if there's any other stamping polishes that um, ranges that you guys have got that um, work um, really well like these are the only two ranges that I've got I've got a few from the CADS range so um, I might just have a bit of a rummage and see uh, what I've got in there and maybe do another a separate video with those um, I have had a request from a subscriber to um, to see how well they stamp over black and white um, the CADS ones so I might just do a separate video with my CADS polish um, collection and it's it is quite big now so that'll be just a separate video on its own but yeah you might be surprised with how these ones work out I am swatching them over black and white because it is important to know how they look over a light and a dark color as well especially with them being of a metallic nature so um, apart from that just sit back relax and enjoy Okay, so the first swatch is for SP24, and this was the really pale, sort of champagne gold colour. And that's stamped beautifully over the black and the white. I really like it on both colours. Very, very opaque. This is the silver one, SP25. And again perfect stamping um, looks amazing over both colors dark and white we've got SP 26 so this is really nice sort of um, denim blue sort of color and um, that's how I describe it pale blue looks beautiful 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 over black and white perfect and opaque here's SP 27 um, by the way I'm using a creative shop store stamper and um, I'll have that listed for you down below too. So this is a beautiful um, green colour, like a sort of sagey green colour. Beautiful. I really like how it's stamped over the black. It's very eye-catching. SP28. I really love this colour. This is so beautiful. It makes me really happy. It's a very nice lilac. And um, yeah, just really like it over both colours there. It looks amazing. Overall, I'm really happy with these. They've, they're all turning out um, beautifully. So this one's SP29. This is sort of like the rose pink colour. Let's see how it fares over black and white. And again, perfect. Perfect. Yeah, these are all turning out really, really good. I'm so pleased. Um, I've never had any disappointment with Moira's products. And again, these have not... Um, disappointed me at all so this one's the older one that I had from before so this one's not listed as a chrome polish but there you go it stamps beautifully over both black and white and it does have a nice sort of chrome finish to it as well 
So I'm really pleased with that. And these are all the swatches side by side, so you can get an idea of the um, colors and how they look grouped next to each other. I like each and every one of them. They've all got a, um, yeah, I really like the colors. They've all got a special place there for me. And I'm happy that the older gold does fare quite well with these and is a slightly darker color than the, the new one. So next up, I've got the Born Pretty Store swatches. First up, I'm going to start with the lilac color, which is 39900. So this one's got a little bit more of a, um, a sort of glittery shimmer to it. Um, it's not as chromey as the other ones, but stamps perfectly over black and white, as you can see. This one is the um, one of the shimmer polishes, listed as one of the shimmer polishes. So this is actually the purple color. It's a really nice deep color and um, hasn't fed perfectly over the black but um, it shows perfectly over the white obviously but because it's a dark color um, it is to be expected that it's going to be struggling a little bit on the black just to show up but in person you can actually see that it's there this one is the blue colored one so again like the purple one doesn't show up amazingly over the black but you can actually still see it as visible um, it doesn't completely disappear just on certain angles you can see it this one is the lighter of the two blues, another one of the shimmer polishes. This one is similar to the Moira um, blue one that I've got as well, but it's slightly darker and that's stamped beautifully. Because it's lighter, it will show up well. This one is the pale green colored shimmer polish, number 37. And I really like this, this one here. It stamps perfectly over both colors, very, very opaque. Now the next one is a um, olive green color. It's almost like a dusky gold, um, but it is listed as an olive green color. I absolutely love it. It is an unusual color, but it's beautiful. Looks amazing over the black, but as you can see over the white, it does appear a little bit lighter and it's showing more green. So that was very interesting to see. The next color is a beautiful rust sort of color, coppery color, 39903. And that's stamped perfectly over black and white. Beautiful color. And last but not least, we have the pink shimmer color, um, color polish, which is number 34. And that one has stamped beautifully over both black and white. I really do like this color a lot now that I've gone and used it. Um, I feel like I've neglected it, so I do need to use that, um, that color. So these are all of the swatches side by side, and you can see that they have all stamped perfectly over black and white. Um, the, obviously the darker colors do sort of recede in a bit, but in the reflection of the light, you can actually see that they do show up. So those are all the swatches of the Born Pretty Store ones. And just for a comparison here, both side by side. So you can pause at any time and have a closer look. Thanks for stopping by ladies. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Leave me any comments, questions down below and I'll look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye for now.